Hi folks, Regina here, and I'm back. Be afraid, be very afraid. No, really, scary, run. Just kidding, God. Stop shaking now. Really not that scary. Yet anyway, I could get there. I like being goofy. You'll get used to me, seriously. Life is way too serious, you know, to, to constantly be, you gotta make people smile a little bit. So anyway, on, on my last clip, I was mentioning a possible reward. Remember that? Everybody loves rewards. Everybody loves getting a thank you when they do something nice. People do like to be appreciated. And you know what? I believe in appreciating those who, who do something nice out of the goodness of their heart. Now, I mentioned that we want to do um, gold prospecting. And I mentioned that we want to do rock hunting. Now, the first piece of equipment that we're currently looking at, because we're still going to be in Las Vegas for quite some time, is um, that, uh, the game plan is to be out of here in the early spring of 2014. It's going to take us about that long to sell things off. And on my blog, I have an eBay site, uh, an eBay thing listed, where... Every time I put something up for sale, it'll be there. Please do check it out. If you like something, do buy it, please. Um, you know, I won't put junk on there. I'll make sure it's in good condition. And uh, some of my artwork eventually will go on there as well, so you get an idea of what I do. But um, anyway, as I mentioned before, uh, once we get... It's called a gold buck too. It's a metal detector that you really... You don't need a metal detector here in the desert. And so that's the first thing we're trying to get right now that I'm saving money up for. That's out, outside of the down payment of the RV, which is uh, $5,000. Uh, this way we can pay it off, hopefully, before we leave and don't have any payments. Um, anyway, so we're going we're gonna to do rock hounding. And uh, joining a club here in Las Vegas that is all about rock hounding and they have an excellent laboratory there where I can learn and use the machinery to cut gems to learn how to make different types of jewelry and uh, so here's the idea for those of you who feel generous and make a hundred dollar donation into my crow fund as soon as I'm gonna have to keep addresses and names and as soon as I go out and start rock hunting and finding some nice gems and I can make the jewelry you are going to get a piece of handcrafted jewelry and I'll make sure it's gonna be nice so you'll get an exclusive piece this is not something that you pick up in the store it's not gonna be mass-produced it is going to be handcrafted and found, you know, the gem directly found from the earth. So a lot of good wipes in it, and I'll put a bookmark with it. And if we find some, uh, you know, little gold cranes, little gold dust and everything, I'll put a little bit of that in a baggie for you as well. And... Um, so for everybody who does a hundred dollar and more contribution to the crow fund as soon as i can get all of this started it's going to be shipped your way uh your way sorry german accent just came out here and um you know i will keep you posted um if you do more i am sure i'll come up with something um, some of you know me from a different personality, and for those of you that do, um, yeah, clips and stuff like that, yeah, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. But, uh, anyways, so I really would appreciate it, and that's kind of the rewards idea I had. Uh, once you do get a choice, I will start putting, like I said, some paintings of mine up and some drawings. And you, you can 
email me after you make the donation and I see your name and address and if you'd rather have one of the paintings I will be happy to ship that to you as well. Either way I don't just uh, want to say oh you know donate to me and make my dream a reality. I am willing to give something back in return. Uh, you know this isn't about begging or panhandling. This is about do something nice to somebody. Uh, pay forward and you know you won't be forgotten I promise you that. Anyway, so this was my rewards thing for you. If somebody is in Las Vegas and they have a good motorhome uh, that they just don't have the space for, they want to get rid of it, it's in good condition, I'm looking for a 30 foot to 32 foot um, motorhome. Can be in the 1990s, it can't be much older than that, please. I am looking some for something with a slide out. Uh, get a hold of me. There, there are ways to do that. Just send me an email here, and uh, maybe we can make some kind of an arrangement. I, I, it would be lovely. Or you know, if you just feel like donating one, I don't know how I'll say thank you for that one, but <laughs> be more than happy to take it. Also, if somebody has a, a very good, in good condition, gold bug too, metal detector, uh, I am looking for one. I, I would be happy to, to consider buying it. I do want to see, make sure it does work. Uh, I had some bad luck with Craigslist on that. I went all the way out to the cellar and then the thing was half broken and I'm not going to spend good money on something that's broken. So I'm looking for that as well. Please do send me a note. I'd be happy for that. And thank you very much. And the next clip is going to be about a really great gold prospecting club that I, uh, most of you probably will know it, that we are hoping to join and some ideas on that one. So talk to you all soon and this is Regina over and out.